All right, for this pro tip, I wanna talk about changing the solve order to prioritize your pivot table calculations. Now, this is a five star expert level tip. Odds are this is something that you may never need to use, but it's a helpful tool to have in your back pocket just in case. So where this does come into play is if your pivot table contains multiple calculated items and fields, which could potentially overlap. In those cases, you'd use the solve order dialog box to determine the priority in which those formulas are evaluated. So from your pivot table tools, you can drop into your fields, items, and sets menu and click the solve order button to access that dialog box. Now within that dialog box window, the last formula in that list will override those above. I'm gonna show you an example of exactly why that's so important in our demo in just a second. Now you may have noticed that within that fields, items, and sets dropdown, there's another option there called list formulas. And what list formulas actually does is generates a new tab in Excel to document all of your calculated items and fields, as well as that sort order. So that can be a really helpful tool for providing documentation to your end users, especially if you're dealing with very complex tables. So to recap here, Number one use case, determining which calculations should take priority in conflicting cases. And number two, again, if you need to produce some documentation for your pivot tables, especially if they contain a large number of calculated items and fields, that list formulas tool is a great way to do that. So with that, let's hop into our demo in Excel, and I'll show you exactly when, why, and how this solve order tool can be used. All right, so go ahead and open up your pro tip workbook. If you're following along, head to your table of contents and we're looking for the pivot table tips gray section here, specifically the solve order and list formulas demo. So go ahead and link out to that sheet. And what we find is what seems to be a pretty simple pivot table layout built on our IMDB movie database. We're looking at gross revenue values here, broken down by language on rows, regions on columns. The catch is we also have some calculated items here at play as well, specifically this percent English calculation in row seven and this North America regional calculation here in column D. Now to see what's going on here, we can drill into our pivot table tools, fields, items, and sets, and open up our solve order dialog box. And here you can see that there are indeed two of these calculated items that are present in our layout percent English, which is taking the English values and dividing them by the total across all four languages, English, French, Japanese, and Spanish. And then we have this North America regional calculation, which is taking the Canada values and adding them to the USA values. Now remember how this solve order dialog box works. The value in a cell is determined by the last formula in the solve order. And right now that North America formula lives beneath the percent English calculation. So North America in this case will take priority. So let's close out of this box, return to our pivot. I'm gonna show you what's going on here. So at this point, our percent English calculated item is technically supposed to impact these three cells. Let's highlight in green, B7, C7, and D7. At the same time, our North America calculation is impacting these cells. D3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And note the intersect here, which is one cell, that's D7. So you've got two conflicting things happening right here in D7. Your percent English calculation is telling Excel, hey, take this value in D3 and divide it by the sum of D3 through D6 and give me the percentage. At the same time, the North America calculation is saying, no, no, don't do that take the value in B7 and just add it to the value in C7. Now, both of those calculations can't be true. They can't happen at the same time. And that's exactly where the solve order comes into play. And remember that because the North America formula occurred lower in the list, that one takes priority. And in fact, that's exactly what's happening here. We're just adding these two percentages, which generates 198.69%. And that doesn't really make sense here because the percent of English calculation should be a percentage under 100%. And in theory, that should really be the one to take priority here. 
as opposed to this North America calculation. So all we need to do is go back to our tools, fields, items, and sets, solve order, and we'll take this English or percent English calculation and, oh, we can't drag it. We'll click the move down button, move it all the way at the bottom so it always takes priority. So let's go ahead and click close. And now check it out. That value changed from 198 to 99.94, which is the correct calculation based on that percent English logic. So that's the solve order and why it's important. Last thing I'll quickly show you is the list formulas option, which you can access right here from that same menu, fields, items, and sets. And when you click that list formulas, Excel will create a brand new worksheet for you that lists out all of your calculated fields, all of your calculated items, as well as the specific solve order in which those formulas get evaluated. So again, very helpful documentation tool, especially when you're dealing with very confusing or complex pivot tables. So let's go ahead and delete that sheet. We don't need the documentation right now. And there you have it, using the solve order and list formulas tools.